It's hard to get excited for a new interface protocol, I get it, but Intel's upcoming Thunderbolt 4 could be interesting enough to really transform the way PCs work and honestly make them a lot more capable than today's current systems. Just imagine easily hooking up two 4K displays to a computer that also has data speeds that are twice as fast as today's systems. Surely that's enough to muster a bit of enthusiasm. From the beginning, Intel's Thunderbolt standard has been a way for the chipmaker to offer blazing fast ports that are much faster than USB. It was originally known as Lightpeak and it was co-developed with Apple. In fact, you'll probably remember the first Thunderbolt ports showed up in the MacBook Pros around 2011 and 2012. You can think of Thunderbolt as a way to get direct access to your PC's PCIe connections, and that's something you typically have to tear open a desktop for and plug in a card. Thunderbolt gives you that sort of speed from the outside with a simple port. The first two generations of the standard used the mini DisplayPort connection, but with Thunderbolt 3 in 2015, Intel moved over to USB-C. That's when things really started heating up. Uh, Thunderbolt 3 was just much faster, much more convenient, and it was a much slimmer connection because it was on USB-C, right? So that actually started appearing in machines from Dell and HP, and it was a lot more widespread than the previous Thunderbolt standards. Now at first glance, Thunderbolt 4 doesn't seem like a huge improvement over the predecessor. They both offer a maximum throughput of 40 gigabits per second, and they both connect over USB-C. So if you just look at them, you really couldn't tell the difference. What's really unique is how Intel is using that capacity in Thunderbolt 4. Intel is mandating stronger minimum requirements for Thunderbolt 4. So you can be sure that every Thunderbolt 4 system is going to be able to connect to two 4K displays or a single 8K screen. And this is where it gets a little confusing. Uh, it's not as if Thunderbolt 3 machines couldn't do that, but there was no guarantee. So maybe you might find a high-end Thunderbolt system that handled 4K displays fine. Sometimes it may just connect to one, and sometimes it may be slower than you'd like when it comes to refresh rate. Storage speeds are also getting doubled from 16 gigabits per second to 32 gigabits per second. And that's gonna be a big deal when it comes to disk drives and you know anybody working with large files like videographers or audio editors, that means it's just gonna be that much more easy for them to move over very large files. And for many people, that could be a godsend. It's sort of like the jump from having an external storage drive to something that is as fast as what you plug into your PC. It's kind of like the dream of eSATA coming true. Intel is also bumping up security in Thunderbolt 4 by requiring its VTD virtualization technology to protect against direct memory access attacks uh, or DMA attacks. We recently heard of one of those and that was called ThunderSpy. And what was interesting about that is that it technically could give a hacker the ability to take your data even if your system was locked and if your hard drive was encrypted. Thunderbolt is kind of a big vulnerability because it's so fast and because it gets you right to some of the fastest speeds you can get from your PC. As of last year, every major operating system supported DMA protections using VTD, but that standard wasn't actually around when Intel was developing Thunderbolt 3, so they couldn't make it a requirement. It was basically just a strong suggestion. Now you can rest assured that every Thunderbolt 4 system is going to have at least stronger security. So what does this all really mean for you? If you're just using your PC to browse the web or just not really pushing it too much, you probably really won't notice a difference. But it's going to be a bigger deal for people who really stress their system. So yeah, again, if you're pushing very large files or if you're regularly needing to connect your laptop to more than one 4K display, Thunderbolt 4 could basically make ultra portables a lot stronger as desktop replacement devices. The sort of things that you could still take anywhere, but when you bring it home, they're just as capable as maybe some other desktops. Intel's debuting the technology alongside its upcoming Tiger Lake chips this fall, and we're expecting those to be pretty powerful too, so it's going to be kind of a double whammy of power and better throughput in PCs we're seeing this fall. You can also look forward to some other niceties in Thunderbolt 4. For example, Intel is requiring that at least one port can charge your PC, and you'll also be able to wake up your PC using Thunderbolt 4 whenever you plug it into a dock. And that's kind of a simple thing, but just imagine putting your PC down, you're tired, you don't really want to fish around for your power button or anything. Once you plug it in and maybe hit a key, it'll just kind of pop up. 
And those docks, by the way, will finally be able to support up to four Thunderbolt ports, which means it's gonna be much easier to connect plenty of accessories to even a very simple, thin laptop. Thunderbolt 4 also supports the upcoming USB 4 standard, uh, which confusingly enough, also brings in a lot of the technology from Thunderbolt 3. And Intel isn't really doing a good job of helping to allay this confusion. Basically, all these ports are gonna be using USB-C. They're gonna look very similar and you're gonna to have to look very closely for branding to determine what your PC actually has. Intel tells us you'll still see the familiar lightning bolt icon uh, next to Thunderbolt capable USB-C ports, but it's not gonna be easy to tell which are actually Thunderbolt 3 or Thunderbolt 4. That labeling won't be on many PCs, so you'll have to look inside your system settings for that. It's honestly a shame after developing such an intriguing new protocol, Intel may end up stumbling a bit when it comes to communication. I still know plenty of techies who can't quite find their Thunderbolt ports on their PCs, and the added confusion of determining Thunderbolt 3 and Thunderbolt 4, it's gonna cause a lot of headaches for a lot of people. Still, there's a lot to look forward to, especially if you push your PC pretty hard. And maybe some of these changes are gonna convince other PC makers to adopt Thunderbolt 4 as well. Microsoft famously has avoided Thunderbolt in favor of its own proprietary connection. I'm hoping to see a Surface tablet eventually that'll have Thunderbolt that's still thin and light and that can connect to an external GPU port and really give me the best of both worlds when it comes to lightness and portability and extreme power when I'm sitting at home. Stay tuned to Engadget.com for more news about Thunderbolt 4 and all of Intel's upcoming products. And of course, we'll be reviewing all these PCs as well. If you dug this video, be sure to like and subscribe.